<laughs> I didn't kill him, gonna know. <laughs> Either way, we're over here with Fawn versus um, Vitz. Here right. rocking the Joker rocking as the always. Ditty. Yes. I, I saw them uh, tweeting about that. Mm -hmm. They've, They've been rocking been... the Diddy uh, uh, much more often lately. Yeah, I've been really enjoying it. <clears throat> so I'm excited to see how uh, how it shows up here against Vitz. Ooh, okay. And Vitz Ray using the banana against uh, Fawn right here on the. I know we are on small battlefield. Pretty good stage for Diddy in general. But goes well for Joker as well. So there's no really clear too much, like, no clear, like, stage preference for either character. Um, which is super good to start off a nice little set on. And Vita Ray taking a match like an even ish game. Um, Fawn struggling to get back on stage and trying to get the jab block, but not uh, kind of thing before the tech roll, unfortunately. That Eha was dangerously close to breaking the Diddy barrels. So Fawn, you know, gonna have to keep that in mind for future ledge interactions. But now Arsene online to see if Vitz can really make use of it. Just kind of uh, trading whiffs right there before Fawn deciding to run back and reset things. Oh yeah, there's literally just a little, little, little bit left of that upbeat back on stage, uh, for, uh, to, to get back on stage safely. And now we have this without our send meter is completely down, but it does not matter. Uh, that little trip with the banana, not doing much for Final Four change just because you, uh, they weren't on the stage quite yet. And beats having the banana in hand. What are they going to do with it? Maybe a Z-drop? Maybe, oh, just regular throw, but unfortunately not getting tripped anything off of it. But there's the back air on stage. And can we stuff out the Diddy recovery? We can throw in some options on ledge. And there we go. Game Fawn back off from the stage into the air and see what they can do against... Oh, they take socks. They do. They do yeah. you, can, you, uh, you can also see uh, Vitz was also threatening the down guns as well, trying to threaten the, the Diddy barrels, mm -hmm. trying to break them so that Fawn just falls to an untimely death. Yeah, I was waiting for that so that interaction to happen, but it, it worked down the end, didn't it? It worked yeah. down the end. Yeah, no, Fawn, Fawn so far playing around uh, specifically like the Diddy Barrels mm -hmm. pretty well. Ooh, all right, and Vitz getting the second arson. Yo, thanks for the subscription. Oh, excellent uh, back here from the uppy recovery from uh, uh, Vitz right there. Making right. it a little bit more of an even game if, if Fawn is able to come back on stage as safely as they can. And also just... Beautiful, beautiful Ooh. combo on the e on the edge right there. And can we continue? Yes, we can. All across the stage and missing the dash attack. But we're gonna continue with the back throw into. I'm sorry, down throw into a back air. All right, Arsene back on line now. But Fawn catching the jump from Vitz, putting him now back off stage using the F tilt to two frame. Potentially gonna be looking Huge. at a stock. We are nice, excellent catch of the uh, B foot free fall with the Diddy down air. Now, what can we continue off of this excellent, excellent lecture credit we have going on in favor of Fawn? The biggest thing we're going to be seeing is, of course, I'm playing a play. I haven't been seeing it too much just because uh, Vita's, Vita's so good at actually taking that banana away from Ooh. Diddy and causing them to be a little bit, you know, discombobulated for a second there. Alright, Fawn just kind of able to monkey flip out of that disadvantage for free, but now getting put back off stage once again. Vitz trying to go for that down gun, but it just hasn't been working out for him yet. Once again, Arsene is out, therefore we're going to be seeing a little bit of a different play style from, from Fawn when they're not even able to come back on stage, unfortunately, finally getting that, uh, that counter play from Vitz against Diddy's uh, jetpack. So here we go, once more, Fawn coming right back and exploding with a beautiful combo, running off of the uh, down air, not down air, heh <laughs> down throw. Yeah, and that combo able to burn the last of the Arsene meter, the down tilt, so are we playing Rob? What is that? I mean, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> Fawn was a raw player. It, it translates. It translates. The the multiple Ooh. down tilts are clearly doing work for them right now. Beautiful uh, drift across with the back air. The sh movement with the monkey flip <gasps> and just bonking Vitz on the head with the banana. Ooh. Shaking it off. Shaking it off. Shaking it off. Yep, yep, yep. Fawn feeling themselves. As you should though. Like this, this actually. Uh, I remember they were talking to me a little bit earlier. They were just like a little bit nervous about this kind of matchup with uh, someone like Joker, who's such a great character. Um, in our roster, in like the roster, so having to do with Vitz, who's so good at this Joker, and then Fawn playing a character that they kind of just picked up and pass about three or four weeks, mm -hmm. I want to say. They're, they're doing extremely well um, against a great player like Vitz, and we're going to be continuing back on small battlefield, ne nevertheless. Yep, Vitz, you know, trying to be, trying to be that change in himself instead of looking for the counter pick, which I mean, Vitz did have some really good, uh, 
did have some really good momentum in that game one. So mm -hmm. just trying to trying to find what went wrong. Just threatening with the guns on the on the platform there. You know, Joker's such a good such a great like poke character. Yep. I feel. Oh, he absolutely is. And not getting the jump at the root that uh, they were looking for in that moment. And it's just. Woo! Is that an SDI? There we go. There Ooh, we go. All right, getting a nice jab lock with the gun. Mm -hmm. Now putting Fun back off stage. Fun, you know, the one time that Fun decided to recover low in game one, they they lost their stock for it. So you've been seeing that horizontal recovery so often. I mean, it's so difficult to really guesstimate where Diddy's gonna go or uh, how far Diddy will travel. Goodbye, Fun. <laughs> with that, uh, with that very horizontal recovery, because typically Diddy's Ooh. always go for that low recovery to the ledge anyway. Mm -hmm. Arsene is going to be gone now. Now Fawn can start stepping on the gas. Ooh, another uh, catching Vitz jumping from ledge. Threatening with the guns. Waiting out the banana that time. You know, perfectly timed with the uh, the invincibility frames. Vitz did not have many when you're 140 at the ledge. What? What with the down tilts? We're just, you know. I love it. A nice little round of applause. That's we, really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Literally just round of applause towards each of those multiple down tilts that uh, Fawn was kind of uh, ex ex uh, putting an example of on the middle of the stage right there. But Beach is refusing to this dog. Oh, there we go with the back here. We're finishing it off. And Fawn only 27%. Really, really manageable and a, a digestible amount of percent to deal with with a with a Joker in this matchup. See, Beats is actually opting for a little bit more of a very patient game, really opting for those pokes you were talking about earlier um, with the gun and, of course, the Ehas. Yeah, now with Banana in hand as well, really uh, nerfing Fawn's neutral. And the dash deck once again, like, sorry, you thought you could get your Banana back? No, it's mine. He's juggling it. I love it. I love the Banana play right now. Like, between both characters, of course, or I use both players in this sense, because just because you're a character who knows how to play with Banana doesn't mean I don't. But you can actually absolutely recover that with Arsene right. coming in to get that little bit extra reach with the vertical recovery. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the grapple hook would have made it back, but mm -hmm. would have been much more vulnerable yeah. for Fawn. And now Fawn almost losing things to an Arsene back air. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, for the I, whiff. I actually don't know why. Maybe because they didn't crash into the ledge and just, yeah, let's see real fast what happens with this recovery. Fawn up B, trying to go for the horizontal recovery, and I think they were trying, they were trying to hit the ledge. I but think, they went a little bit past for the, the grab box for that. Yeah, and I think because Fawn was still holding down when you're holding just down, goes you can't, straight down. can't grab yeah. the ledge. Unfortunate. You, uh, just, just really unfortunate. Um, second stock taken from there. From like pretty high percentage, not too much of a loss. But unfortunately, just, you just don't want to do with that kind of thing in this matchup. So hopefully we can see Fawn not let that you know trip them up too much and take this game back with a very solid 34% and just keep it to that, to keep it, uh, that low. Yeah, and I mean, especially against a character like Joker, who can, you know, poke with the best of them, you really don't want to give them an inch because you're just going to suddenly find yourself at 48 at the minimum. Mm -hmm. All right, but now in Arsene coming back online potentially for Vitz and a scary ledge trapping situation. Fawn once again using that monkey flip to get out of dodge. All right, Arsene is, of course, out and about right now. There's a down throw and the and the banana trip interrupting Vitz's plan for a follow up on that down throw. And now we see once again Fawn off on the stage, 90%, really scary. But that is Diddy with rage right now. We're just missing all of our attacks. It is so so good for Fawn because that means that they can stay alive a little bit longer against Vitz's Joker. And Vitz has been like playing around the banana so well. I feel like he's he's been ready for like every every like throw timing. He's ready mm -hmm. to, to to catch it. And it's, they, he just refuses to die. He refuses to lose the second stock to Fawn. I'm Lots actually take surprised. <gasps> I think that was the outermost nice. hitbox of the gun that didn't catch the uh, the barrel, uh, but the angled F tilt going to be taken out. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent play. Excellent yeah, actually, Joker play. Uh, can we see that last uh, that last stock real quick? Yep. Yeah, I want to see. Uh, yeah, right there, you can see Fawn does get like tapped by the bullet. But uh, the outermost hitbox of the gun oh, has a uh, is only like a like a fox laser. It doesn't yeah. actually have knockback, so it wasn't enough to break the barrel. Oh my god, did he? Did he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? Oh, Rob! 
Oh, oh, we got Rob. Ooh. We got Rob. We got Rob versus Joker. Uh, Fawn does not <laughs> want to go to losers. Does not want to go to losers. No. Those down tilts were just simply a foresight. It was it was a foresight. We saw it happen. Here's Rob, the, the down tilt king. I mean, with this with this stacked ass Zeno, I wouldn't want to go to losers either. Zenos are stacked no. enough as it is. Losers is scary enough as it is. <laughs> this week is even scarier. Hello? I know. The biggest thing we've been seeing with the Rob, of course, is Rob is, of course, big. But Rob also is a master of those zero deaths, a master of those side -beat placements, or side that, you know, arm rotor off on stage, where Vaughn is definitely going to be looking for uh, to take beat out into that stage. And of course, those up air juggles are so important as well. Yeah, and I mean, another thing about Rob is Rob is just such a good, like, counter poke character. And also can just do go. that. Like, don't even care about Arsene. Literally, don't even interact <laughs> with him. Yep, you can absolutely just stall across the stage with the amount of gas you have as Rob. And very seldom can characters actually challenge you up into that blast zone area. So, excellent counterplay from the Rob. And try again the the setup with the gyro on stage uh, and, and interrupting the neutral getup. But was not able to connect Ooh. with the back air at the end. Ironically, I think the only move that Joker could really use to threaten a Rob uh, stalling up there is Grapple Hook. Which, yeah. <laughs> you know, which they're like, trying. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> also, they're just trying to stall out your Arsene timer, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter. All right, but the up air is sharking through the platform. Fawn now with a stock lead, but pretty high percentage as well. Super high percentage. The only thing this means is that Rob does have a lot of bridge, and this could be a gyro combo. No! Unfortunately, we're dropping it, I think, just because uh, it was able to STI a little bit too far out of it to continue it the way that uh, Fawn was able was wanting to. But we're also be missing that up air and beautiful uh, back air, uh, yep, yeah, back air ever cup of uh, shield. See, oh, getting, getting tapped by the bullets, but still able to make it back, and there's those down tilts. That's huge. That's their jab lock into forward smash. Yes, of course. Vitz tried to get a little bit cheeky with those staggered jabs and ended up eating a forward smash for his troubles. And now Arsene already Excellent almost use. gone. Yep. And He's gotta wait out there the we go. Arsene. Yep, absolutely good out the Arsene. Taking a page out of Dill's book. Ooh. If it works, it works. Oh back wow! Back throw finally taking it. Back, just, Joker back throw what, is so what? funny. I, I love Fawn's idea of I'm going to drop down and throw every single hard move I have. <laughs> All right, but the up air now putting Fawn in a much bigger stock lead than first stock. Mm -hmm. This is a complete reversal of game one. Of course, game one having that fortunate SD from Fawn, but nevertheless, we do have a reversal of the stock situation that we saw in the last game. Ooh, Here we right. go. Fawn is absolutely dominating in the air with that up air. I think that was uh, capitalizing on the DI in mm -hmm. the Nair into up tilt, and Vitz taking so much percent for it. And, I mean, these combos just doing so much for Fawn in, in this game, being able to waste the Arsene meter. I think we want to see another up air right here. No, Rush is waiting out for Vitz to come back on stage safely without Eha coming in. A little bit of curse damage on Fawn as they get yep, more percentage. And there's our grappling that we were talking about. Yep. Come here. <laughs> Once again, Vitz getting caught by that shark up air through the uh, the main platform. Ooh, gotta be careful. Oh, huge. Ooh, That's okay. huge. Yeah, unfortunately, no Arsene online for Vitz, meaning Fawn's gonna be living a little bit longer. And another one. Beautiful another one. Stage, but Just that's, keep that's up airing not, yeah. at ledge. Fawn, so you wanna check that? You know how long you're gonna stay there for? I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> another one. Another one. <laughs> Look at this. Boom. Teched it. Beautiful tech. Come back on ledge. You have almost... You have, su you have, you have such low iframes. Mm -hmm. The higher percentage is just that the charging of the up air, you are going to get eaten by eventually. And hey, you know, we liked it so much. How about another one? Two of them. Can we get a third? Can we get a third? I actually don't remember what killed Vips on the second stock. This one. <laughs> well, it was another up air, but just a uh, differently placed up air. Can we get three of them? We got one, like two on stage. One in the Boom. air. Bop! You know, Dead. Rob, I, I, I think Rob up air might be a good move. Right? Maybe. Might be a good move, guys. 